You both have swum for your country at the highest level. You've coached athletes who swum for their country at the highest level. You've coached the best athletes in the world. You're now coaching high schoolers in Southern Florida. Why is that, why is that fulfilling to you? <laughs> that's a long, that's a long one. Um, for me, I think, you know, I like, I've, I've always enjoyed the, uh, the development of the athlete. You know, I think having had the opportunity to coach the best. I've always been interested in how they got there. Um, it, it's always fascinated me. I had a very different um, path in swimming, so I think coming back to the the root of everything. To me, this is the found, this is the foundation of, of of what we do. Without without the age group system, we don't have any elites. We don't have anything like that. So um, it's been exciting. You know, I, again, it's having been at the top and coached them. It, it's it's that was uh, it, it was humbling. But now coming back to this level, it's like how do we get them? Some exposure of what they might not have had. You know, taking what we learned to the top and, and, and spreading it out. Um, and giving them, you know, a chance, a chance to get there. How hard has that been for both of you? You to, to take and see what the pros have done and adapt that to get these guys maybe there one day or not, and that's fine. How hard has that been for both of you guys? I think it's, it presents itself as a challenge depending on the athlete, depending on their goals. But um, to tie that in with your previous question, it's it's also the opportunity to make an impact in a kid's life. I think speaking to that foundation that Nick is talking about, when you get in at the ground floor, you've developed a relationship and an opportunity to create something with a human that helps them become a great citizen, not right? just a great swimmer. What's more important to you if they swim for the top school in the world or they become the happiest swimmer in the world? Absolutely the latter for me. Why is that? And, and, and what are you doing to ensure that? I think we, we, we're built on balance here and holistic balance. We don't want you to achieve your goals and remember swimming as being a burden or the unhappy time in your childhood. We want these years to be the happiest years of your life, of your childhood, and the success to be a byproduct of that. And so we're very invested in keeping the family strong, um, making sure that there's balance away from the pool, and knowing that once that happens and you put the work in at the pool, you can get the best of both worlds. The way, the way I look at it is how many times you remember the, the fastest time you went. If I asked you what your fastest time was, but I guarantee you have some great memories of a coach or a set you did or a trip you went on. You know, for me, swimming opened the world, you know, the doors to the world, pretty much. I mean, I grew up in a small farm in the middle of nowhere. Who would think I'd be in South Florida at in Coconut Grove? traveled the world you know and so if we can give them some of that not everyone's going to do that but at least as Franz was saying it is family you know and it's, it's not everyone's going to get to the highest level you know having coached them we got them they came to us now we have the chance to develop them and let them go to another you know to the next level whether it be in swimming or in business or you know helping out at a non-profit it's, it's up to us to develop those citizens of tomorrow. Two, two last questions one you both came from South Africa and from Trinidad. I know the pools very well in one. I can imagine the pools in the other. I know the facilities. I know the struggles. I know the finance behind it. Now where you, you are where you are. How has that made you humble and yet strive to be the best? Uh, I think for me, coming to a place like this, um, it helps to remind you not to take for granted the things that you have. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we grew up with struggles in Trinidad and struggles for facilities and, and equipment and whatever. And maybe that's not the, the, the issue here, but it's always going to be about understanding what you have and making the most of it. And so going forward for us, the biggest uh, priority is ensuring that kids understand what they have and make the most of it. It's taking every opportunity for what it is and carrying forward to build on it and make it something better. 100%. I mean, to me, having seen a lot of the pools in the country, this is hands down one of the best facilities, not just at high school, 
but a college X club anywhere in the US, maybe even the world. Um, and it's up to us to remind them. And you know, I think going to other facilities, they'll they'll see that. But it is humbling to be. Uh, I mean, having like you said, seeing some of the the pools you've seen and some of the the ones we grew up swimming in, where the heat is broke and stuff like that, and things didn't work, and you had to tough it out. You know, it, it's it's. It is humbling. It's, it gives you a bit of grit and a bit of resilience, um, you know. But then again, you wake you wake up in the morning, and we had morning practice yesterday, and the sunrise was phenomenal. I mean, uh, I posted it on our group chat, and it's just it, it's a it is a blessing to be, and I'm, I'm thankful to France for bringing me here. I mean, it's you wake up every morning and you get to work in a place like this. You know, it's it's not many people can do that, um, and it's again part of that joy and that humility is for us to pass it on. And I think you see it in, in the, the practices and and you know. And, and literally loving what we do. Okay. Last question for you. Jamaica has the best high school track in the world. Texas, best high school football in the world. Is the best high school swimming in the world? Ooh. Five years from now. I don't know. We would like to be part of the discussion for sure. But most important for me, ensuring that we continue to churn out responsible, healthy kids more than anything else. I'm going to give you the, the, the uh, reverse psychology. We've just talked about, you know, who we're developing. To me, again, I think South Florida has something really special. You look at the high schools and the programs here. Um, you know, California's good, Arizona's good, Texas is good, but there's something special about South Florida. But at the same time, it's not about, yes, it is not nice being the best, but it's about um, who, where they, where the athletes or the swimmers are going to be five, ten years from now? Because if they're not, if they're not looking back, going, wow, you know, that one lesson I learned from Coach France or from Coach Nick um, really helped me. Or you know, there was one travel trip that we had that was absolutely phenomenal. We were in the wrong spot. So yes, I'd love to be able to create a gym where we're just churning out, you know, world beaters. But at the same time, it's it's the ones that are coming back and and wanting to be a part of the program and and remembering. You know, 10 years from now, over a drink or a meal, going, hey, remember that one time? Um, that's what we're looking for. Absolutely. So do you social kick? 100%. 100%.